Hello everybody, this is me Saber and you're watching Corel Master YouTube channel. Today in this video I'm gonna show you how to make this text effect in CorelDRAW. So let's start. First step, of course, I need text. I'm using this font type. You can see the title, it's for free and you can have it. And in this step I will use two tools. I will use the perspective and the envelope. And of course after that I will use the extrude. Why I'm using the perspective with the envelope? Because the perspective gives uh, the text cool dimension than if I use just the envelope with uh, the extrude tool. So let's play around with perspective. Just a little. Okay. You can use a uh, the guidelines perfect now I have to use uh, the envelope you can see those handle I don't need those handle because if I use this handle I don't think you will like it so double click and delete those handle because I need this line to be perfect like this and from here curvy to and now I will use the curvy from here and here too Play around till you find the perfect shape that you like. I think I will use the guideline too, like this, and perfect. Do the same with the next text and see you after that. Now after I did the same thing with the second text except I used the curvy line uh, in different way like this in the top and like this in the bottom. Now I'm ready to use the extrude. I need just some color use the outline because when you use the extrude you have to see what's going on like this right in the top uh, sorry in the bottom like this that's cool when you see yourself happy with the result use the brick extrude group apart like this do the same thing with the the second text but be careful you have to use it right down till you cover this areas like this cool Select the object and break group apart too. So, see you next step. Now, select your text and use ungroup all object because 
we will work with uh, every single object like this and I will use interactive fill tool I'm using two colors like this okay and use the same thing but copy the the color and use it in different way like this here it's much darker and here there is light color and copy and paste the color with the other object like this copy and copy this one inside like this okay sorry You can play around with the color, but you have to take off the outline. So this is our text and you have to do the same with the second text here too and see you next step. Now. The final step is to play around with this object. I will use the Bezier tool. I will create something like this. That's cool. And after that, I will use Smart Fill tool like this. I don't need this object. Use the dark color here, as you see, and convert this to curve. Uh, sorry, to bitmap, and use the Gaussian blur. Four point. Okay, that's. Let's use for okay, and now I have to use uh, the transparency like this. Okay, now you will have this effect. Send it back and power clip and inside this object. Do the same thing with the other object and see you after that. Here I finish everything. Uh, I did the same step except I'm using a uh, light color in this object, but you can control your color as you like. Uh, final step I need to use a uh, light color here. As you see, copy this object, copy and control V and black color, make another copy like this, select both and back minus front and use light color than this one 
I will do the same here too. I'll copy, Control V, Color, Copy, Paste, Back minus front, and use your color like this. So this is our tutorial on this video, hope you'll like it, I will appreciate if you share it with your friend or make like for this video or subscribe to my channel for more tutorial about CorelDRAW and see you around, goodbye.